Hello, this is Father Louis Gerdy. For the last few weeks, we have been interviewing Lisa Calabrese. She's the parish manager here at St. John Cabrini, St. John Nepomucene and Mother Cabrini in Roosevelt Island. Um, she has diverse number of ministries. Her focus is coordination of the whole parish, and her special love is religious ed because she deals with little kids as well as young adults. And I guess the question really is today is, who, who is Lisa? How did she get here? We know how... She got here from one parish to another. We know her affiliation with Father Baker, the pastor, but who is Lisa? So I give you the question. Okay. Um, you were born and raised in Manhattan? Yes. Uh -huh. What area? Born and raised in Manhattan. Um, I was actually born in Manhattan, um, Riverside Drive. And then we were, my father was a jazz musician. Um, yeah, so, you know, we were always, like, somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Do you play? Do you do anything? I don't. No, oh, it was one of, wow. I think one of his biggest disappointments, he tried to get me to play so many things. I'm like, oh, no. Um, play the radio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but we had, um, we moved to the Bronx for a very little bit. We had a small apartment, but then we needed something bigger because my father wanted to have his jam sessions with his, you know, and so we moved to a seven-room apartment in Brooklyn, oh, um, my. which was fantastic. Yeah, was fantastic. space. Yeah space um so yeah so i'm really a city girl so no matter where i've lived i've always That's been right. a city girl yeah, you know yeah. always come back here it's funny because we're from jersey <clears throat> i come over once in a while but prior to my ministry here it was really like once a year twice a year maybe a play or this or that mm -hmm, but mm -hmm. working here and going to both places gives you gives me a great feel for what the city it really, it, Jerry just said this the other night, it sounds like a commercial, it really is the city that never sleeps. It's always alive. I, know. I mean, we came in from my niece's house the other day, 42nd Street, we took it because we came through the tunnel. Oh my God, it was like the middle of the day. It was like midnight. Mm -hmm. It was like mm -hmm. lively, people walking, lights, everything. And I love it. I love when yeah. people come, especially in this parish, we get a lot of tourists. Oh, yeah. Um, which I didn't mention before, but the Bratislava Boys Choir of 30 young men will be coming, and I coordinate where they have to sleep and all of that. But I digress. Um, yeah. No, that's good. That's good. <laughs> but the <laughs> last time they came two years ago, I took them to Times Square. Oh, my goodness. You have these little children. Oh, with their eyes children. right open, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And all the big guys wanted to do is, we want to come back here at night and see the lights. You yeah, know? yeah, yeah, we, yeah. We took them at night. And then that's when you really feel it, too. Like, wow, I live here. Yeah, you that's know? It's right. amazing. Yeah, that, that's that's what's exciting. Yeah. I live here. Yeah. yeah, it's amazing. And no matter, I, you know, I travel a lot. No matter where I go, I'm, I'm happy to come home. I love it. Right? It's and not noisy. No. Nope. It's not chaotic, although the, the bells are ringing, yeah, the yeah, cars well, that's, you, know. you don't even notice the after <laughs> <laughs> And you know, when people um, ask me, well, where do you want to retire to? And I'm like, I'm there. I, there's no place I want to retire to. I might want to travel a little bit more, yeah, but yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. here. I'm, that's I'm good. not going anywhere. And you live on Roosevelt Island. Mm -hmm. How long have you lived there? Four years. Oh, oh, oh rather recent. Yeah, that's Yeah. Cool. well, when we came here, I never even knew what Roosevelt Island was. Isn't that funny? Never. A lot of people don't. No. They, they say, well, are you going to what island are you going to? Yeah. I said, it's that far away. I mean, on yeah. the tram. The first time, Father Baker is, okay, I was, uh, this is where I'm going. Came to St. John's. He said, okay, now we have to go to the other church. And I'm like, where were you taking me? <laughs> this little, little cable car thing, you yeah, know, yeah, going yeah, over yeah, the water. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and now great. I get, that's how I get to work every day and go home. That's on the great. Track. That's yeah. great. It's exciting. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah. Um, f family growing up. Faithful, religious, Italian name. Yeah, faithful, religious, Catholic school since kindergarten, all the way, all the way up to really? yeah, oh yeah, always. Yeah. And what school was that? Yeah, what, so what I, went, was that? I went. I uh, went uh, to Saint Mary, Mother of Jesus, in Brooklyn. I went to Saint John's in the Bronx for a little bit. I went to Bishop Carney, which recently closed in oh. high school, which is you know. And then I went to Mount Saint Mary up in Newburgh. Wow. So Catholic, Catholic, Catholic. Yeah, so yeah. So my family, yeah, yeah, yeah. My grandmother, especially with the you know, <laughs> that, <laughs> the statues in the bedroom. Of course, with the candle. <laughs> the candle. Mm, I know, I know. <laughs> yeah, don't bother me. I'm praying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's great. I <laughs> she love lived it. with us. So, yeah. Oh, that's yeah, great. Yeah. So growing up, who lived there? Who lived so there? my mom, my dad, my grandma, and myself. I'm an only child. Okay. My mother was an only child. My father that's was the an only child. Wow. For an That's, Italian family, it's weird. Re, yeah. It's strange, not mm -hmm. weird. Yeah. Um, the uniqueness of only children are their independence, I yes. think, very often. Yes. Um, and now your father and your mother marry. That's interesting. 
and he was a jazz musician. Mm-hmm. Was she independent too? Did she Very have something? Independent. Like what she, did she? What was her thing? My mother worked throughout her entire book well, because my she was lucky to have my grandmother. Living. Okay. So my grandmother took care of me. She basically raised me. My mom, you know, being a musician when you're starting out does not bring much money at right, all. Right, so right. So she went to work. She outside the home. When I was growing up, the kid, other kids would look at me like your mother works like. Because, you know, at that time, yeah. it was the father works, the mother stays home. Of course, and makes cookies. Of course. And my mother was <laughs> like, no, because we have to pay the rent. And yeah. and she was very happy. She she worked until um, when I was out of school. She, she loved it. Good. She loved getting out of the house. What and, kind of work? Is it and good? she worked, I don't know if you would ever remember, Emerson TV. Oh, sure. And radio. Sure. And she was like, in Jersey. Yeah, she yeah. She traveled yeah. in Jersey I, every I, day. I remember it. Yeah. I, I think it might be Jersey City, too. I Emerson. think it was Jersey yeah, City. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's um, one of our buildings. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's dope. And my father used to bake cookies um, Stop. At, at Nabisco, which was at um, Chelsea Market, used to be the Nabisco. Right. If you look up, see a little plaque that says Nabisco. Isn't that? And he worked there for 14 years because he would remind me of that all the time. And and he worked there and, and yeah, jazz as he on was, the side. Yeah, at jazz on the side. And when, I, when he stopped doing the cookies because, thank God, he was making money. I would say, Daddy, but I like when you used to bring home cookies. I mean, why <laughs> can't you keep that job, you know? Yeah, so, but of anyway, yeah, yeah. That's great. So. Uh, what instrument did he play? He played uh, the bass fiddle, the stand-up bass. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. And he used to practice in his apartment? He would practice in the apartment. And he the neighbors? Have, is, I, I don't know. Well, we had it was a private house. Oh, okay. Um, the owner of the home was wonderful. He was an um, older Italian man who loved the idea that, you know, people were there. Family, and yeah, taking care yeah, of the place yeah, for him. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, we were family. It was great. Isn't that yeah, great? Yeah, it was great. So I also think being an only child, us, the three of us being only children, um, we had a lot of friends. They were always friends. They were always... Right, not relatives. Not relatives. Friends, they were yeah. all friends. And my age, everybody wanted to come to my house because I had my own room. You know, Whoa. <laughs> like, they all had like six siblings, you know, and I didn't... I didn't have to share anything. So, yeah. So. yeah that's what that's, I always <laughs> say with, when I'm counseling uh, families that have an only child, I said, no realize he, he may or she may seem selfish but only children don't share yeah. they they don't get used to sharing i mean as adults you have to i guess yeah, you get used yeah. to it um but if they put something down in their room the next day when they come it's right mm-hmm, there mm-hmm. little brother sister mm-hmm. didn't wear it didn't right. take it didn't right, play right, with it right. yeah uh, what was that like growing up as i mean you, that's all you knew only child but yeah, do you have any interesting experiences as only child um now we're doing, we're doing a little bit of family therapy yeah. besides well, you know, friends of the word. But, you know, people will say, oh, only child, you must have been spoiled. I never got that feeling of, my grandmother would not allow me to be spoiled. First really? Of all. Oh, yeah. She was oh, a, that was my grandmother's she was job. She a, a, a to tough me. Italian. Really? Yeah. yeah, she was, yeah, no, she wouldn't allow me to be spoiled. And I, so I didn't, I never thought I was spoiled. My oh, only, I always thought I was spoiled. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah I, never, I mean, of course, yes, you know. I was, you know, my mother always made a point of, you know, we had a Saturday date. She and I, we would go out to lunch at Woolworths. Great. The, uh, the, yeah, the, the, the five and counter, ten. The counter, yeah. And, um, because she felt she didn't see me as much because she worked. So right, right, we right. Shopping. We did that almost until the day she died. I mean, really, God we used to have, a, you know, one day or we would come into the city and go to, you know, something. Yeah. Together. Wow, yeah, that's yeah, that, that's yeah. very beautiful. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, that. so it became a true. So, as far as being an only child, I always people. Used, I never really wanted a sibling. People would say, "Don't you, don't you feel bad? Oh, we no. feel sorry for you." <laughs> no, really, no. fine. My clothes okay. are my clothes. No, I don't pass them down. I don't get hand me down. So but my it. friends would come over and borrow clothes. Yeah, that's because easy. they didn't have as much as I did yeah. because my mother was always buying me something. Um, <laughs> so I shared with you know my mother would say. Do you know I paid a lot of money for that? <laughs> Why are you giving it away? <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah. Crazy. So, so yeah. So when you go on your trips and you've been to a lot of places, I look on Facebook and mm-hmm. and you travel sometimes at Mark, sometimes with Father Baker. Mm-hmm. Um, you initiate those vacations on your own. A lot you initiate of, oh yeah, money. yeah, and 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 a lot of times I go on vacation. Like I've been to China and I've been to alone. I've been uh, alone. Yeah. With the groups, I guess. Yeah, with the, well, in China, I went with the group. Like, I went to Turkey by myself. This was a few years back. I don't know if I, you know, would do it now. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just not? go. Yeah. I went to Spain by myself. I went. If I got so tired of ask, telling people or asking people, hey, I'd love to go to Barcelona. You know, oh, yeah, we'd love to go. We'd love to go. And then but, when it comes down to it, 
you know, I'm getting the tickets. Uh, I don't want to go. So you know what? If other people don't want to do it, I guess that that's an only child thing. Absolutely. You just do it. You're not, you're not intimidated. You just do it. Doing it alone. No, that's, yep, that's yep. you're self-motivated yeah, exactly. in many yeah, ways. Yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah. And, awesome. you know, and even, you know, like I said, coming from Orange County to going to the city to, you know, people, a lot of people up there were like, oh, you go there and you go in there by yourself and you go out to dinner and, yep, I do it all by myself. Go to a Broadway show if I want. You, yeah, I see you on, oh. online a lot. At, but it never connected. I figured that who was taking the pictures is the person you're with. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. He, yeah. Alone. Yeah. A lot and of now, times. how many grandchildren yeah, do you have? Five. Model. You made up yeah, for it. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. Okay. Now, does grandma s spoil them? Well, I, I, I do spoil them, yeah. especially I have um, a granddaughter who's uh, 20. She just turned 20. And so, for every special birthday, you know, 13, 16, 18, I've taken her. 13, she went to France. And then we've gone to Barcelona, and Whoa. then we've gone to Italy. She wanted to go to Rome. I took her there. So now the other day she said to me, so next year, 21. Like, yeah, I know. And you're in school, and you're working, and what does that mean? <laughs> oh, my God. You're putting thoughts in. Sophia said, my niece is 21 next year. Oh, oh, uh, well, you know I'm going to take her. Yeah, I don't, yeah, I said, yeah, yeah. She said, I'm thinking about where I want to go. I said, good, oh, good, fine. good. Yeah, so, and that's fun. The other four are boys, and I could take them out for ice cream. They don't care. They don't. They don't care about the travel part of it. So. Right, right, right. That's but, yeah, great. Yeah, they're, they're, That's know, great. They're, they're spoiled. It's funny. My excuse me, my grandniece, my grandniece, my Sophia, um, she likes to travel, but with mom and dad, first class. So in college, she's thinking of you know semester abroad. Mm -hmm. No, nah, I don't think so. Are you guys coming? To, for his semester abroad. Yeah. I, no, they're not coming. Yeah, so, so yeah, I, I, I'm not going. I, I, I travel with them. I mean, you, 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 you yeah. like, are you going to travel with mommy and dad? Yes, first class. Right. <laughs> and, and, you know, my great. daughters, my, my two daughters, they could care less about traveling. They that's could care fine. less about traveling. One doesn't want to get on a plane. The other one says, oh, I'm so busy. And I, you know, so it's okay. Yeah. I started traveling when I turned 50. That's when I started. Well, traveled all over the states, but traveling to Europe, my first European trip was when I was 50. Good. And good. I hadn't stopped. God, God bless you. <laughs> and now she'll travel to your home, bring this interview <laughs> with you, and pass it on to your family and friends. And this is our Friends of the Word, our evangelization. We're on YouTube and Facebook and a whole bunch of other, the, the, all, the, all the things, the Twitter, the Instagram. Pass it on. And you're in charge of our evangelization, okay? We're sharing God's Word. And here, once again, we're sharing it with people who are the, the laity of, of the church and in so many ways, the backbone, as Lisa has really shared with you. She is here at St. John de Pomacine and Francis Xavier Cabrini in Roosevelt Island. So let me hear from you, Father Lou Skirty at hotmail.com, and Lisa's email will be under it as well. And if you want to contact us, use that. God bless you, and keep the word. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you. This is a pleasure. It's so nice. It's